Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me, coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Four box, random team break number three. It's a third of a case. And this is the final third of the case right here. There's all four boxes right there. Very big thank you to all of these wonderful people here. Thanks for getting in, appreciate it. And there's all the teams right here. And let's roll it and randomize it three times. Two and a one. One, two, three. Easy. A couple AKs. Down to Cesar. And Chris Bay saying, randomizer, be nice. Let's see what happens. After three for the teams. Good luck, everybody. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got the Knicks on top, Bucks on the bottom. Trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. All right, so Adam Kelly gets the... Uh, Adam's got those names where you want to say Adam Kelly. Like, it, it just flows right into each other. Adam Kelly with the Knicks. He also has the Mavs. Brian with the Bulls. Dan with the Warriors. Jimmy with the Suns. Anthony with the Cavs. Dan with the Grizz. Uh, nice. Dan, Derek with the Nuggets. William with the Jazz. Brian, you got my Lakers. Anthony with the Kings. John Samson with the T-Wolves. Uh, Adam Kelly with the Sixers and the Celtics. Dan with the Pacers. John with the Spurs. Marissa with the Trailblazers. David with the... David Baker. That's another name that kind of flows well, right? David Baker. Magic. Matthew uh, Shearer with the Pelicans. Nice. Chris Bay with the Clippers. TJ Leonard with the Rockets. Tyler with the Wizards. Adam Kelly with the Nets. Sheng with the Raptors, Ray with the Hawks, Carl with the Pistons, Matthew Shearer with the Heat, Dan with the Thunder, Tyler Lastbot Mojo Hornets, and Cesar Sanchez with the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Hunting. All right, let's alphabetize by team right here, and I'm going to pause the video for just a moment, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the quick four-box break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a trade. Jimmy. Is now now has the Rockets and now TJ Leonard now has the Suns. They got that deal done. A lot of trade chatter though. A lot more than I've typically seen. But uh no no deals were eventually done though. A lot of uh thanks but no thanks kind of situations here, but Okay, it's all good. All right. Here it is, four box break number three. Then we're gonna do black gold as a palette cleanser. Then we'll do the three box random team break. So these are the four boxers, then we'll do the three boxers. And then we're gonna probably call it a night after that. I think we are gonna call it a night after. We got, we got a busy Friday coming up, 24 hour breakathon. All right, good luck to everybody here. Thank you everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. There are the final four boxes right there. And let's roll. Yes, Matt, we, we squeaked in, Matt Medlin. We were just like, we were just like, do we, do we let Matt Medlin down? And we're like, no, we can't let Matt Medlin down. Now, we figured we can move those mini breaks tomorrow because we, those are only filling, those are filler breaks for the mixers and those mixers aren't going to happen tonight. So we can, we figure we can push that to, uh, to the next day. And then, uh, oh, that's right, yeah, Medlin got us that delicious CPK the other day. Uh, and then, and they were like, and then we can squeeze in those three box mosaics, and then do, uh, and then do fantasy sports, and then call it. You would have taken rockets for Hornets, but yeah, but would. Would TJ F. Leonard have taken the, the the Hornets there? Carter, I'm kind of in the middle of a break, but you want me to check your email? We already replied back to you. We already replied back to you, Carter. So email checked. Done. Both See? How how magical was that? Yeah, believe it or not, folks, we don't have a huge, uh, we don't have a massive call center here. It's just us. So today, today was a was a big shipping day. 
So sometimes in those big shipping days, sometimes we can't get to the emails as quickly as, as we want to. So apologies there, but appreciate everybody's patience. I wish we had a call center. All right, there's Belizia, Emanuele yeah, Belizia, and NBA debut John Morant. So all sorts of things happening here. So we got the John Morant. That's for the Grizzlies. That'll go to Dan Gardner. The in it to win it LeBron James. These inserts are pretty nice. That will go to who's got my Lakers? Brian Magnus has my Lakers. And this will go to you too, Brian. Just the base LeBron James. These are nice. We want we want parallels. Though. We'll find those parallels. Kendrick Nunn, Kyle Lowry. It's Jared Culver, AD. Jordan Poole. Paul George Clippers. Nice. Thanks for the update, Jason. Jason Jaspi has an, has an update for us here. sorts of things happen in here. And a purple, Rashawn Holmes to 49. All right. NBA debut, RJ Barrett. I've heard of him. He's pretty good. John Morant might even be better. Probably is better. John, RJ Barrett still has that ceiling, though. Big market team. What, second overall pick? Makes that Makes that really interesting there. Got the blue chip Zion as well, which is also nice. So uh, Grizzlies, Dan Gardner with the Grizz, you get all those John Morants. And Matthew Shearer, you get all these uh, these delightful Zion Williams eyes, William eyes. And the, we want, I mean, we want perils of these Giannis, Giannises. But there's Isaiah Roby autograph. But everything ships, of course, so you'll get all that. Um, how many boxes do you think we got to ship out per day? A lot. How many do you think we do a week? Probably a thousand, right? Yeah. Yeah, easily. Easily? Yeah, so plus all the other stuff. So yeah, maybe 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 a thousand a week, Adam. No, that that is that is one of the issues. We don't have a lot of space. We may have to. I've been I've been talking to Nick about us getting a uh, a storage space, um, like a little store, like a metal storage shed to put like boxes inside to clear up some space here. Yeah, Steve Molino, you've been here. Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I take that back, Adam. We do have a lot of space, but it's. <laughs> We have 3,000 square feet. It's just taken up by stuff. That's the thing. So we've got, I don't know, maybe we need to try to build a little... Uh, why would... Uh, Derek, you're right. I don't, why'd you say that? You'll get black widows in those boxes. You're right. I'm not going in that shed ever. 
Oh. Ja, ja, das. Oh. Nice Triple J for Dan Gardner. So maybe we don't, we can't have that sword shed outside, where black widows will hide. Oh, black widow one. That's terrifying. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can make it work. We it's this. I think space is a bit of an issue. I think there's another issue that we can talk off off wax, but I think we can make it work. I think the I think we can make it happen. Zion for Matthew Shira and the Nolans Pelicans. But I had just messaged Nick before I started this break, Adam, and he was just like, yeah, I've been meeting too. But um, as you've seen, with the breaks and consequently the shipping and all that stuff, we've just been slammed because everyone's at home messing around with baseball cards and basketball cards and stuff. We've been slammed. Our swag game is weak. Like we can't even, we, we got to talk to Brian Peoples about upping our swag game. We haven't talked to him about that for months. We did chat in the chat on one Sunday night or something like that, but yeah, we gotta talk to him about t-shirts and stickers and other other stuff. Maybe some some soccer ball shaped stress spongy stress balls. That'd be kind of cool. Jaspi logo on it. But yeah, no, business has certainly been good. We appreciate that. We'd rather have it be like this than, than not having any emails to answer <laughs> and not having any boxes to order. That, that I would not want that. I'd rather have it this way. You know, I'd rather have a customer service email get answered a day later than it should have <laughs> or, or some shipping go out a few days later than it should, but still have that rather than the other way around, which would be like nothing. I don't want nothing. That would not be good. It would be sad times for us. John Morant, blue. 64 out of 99. Nice. No, Jason's wrapping up some dinner, Ryan S., and he'll be popping back on. Popping. It's a, it's a very English thing to say. Popping back on. It'll pop. Back on the IG soon. That Giannis, who has the Bucks again? Cesar Sanchez going Milwaukee Bucks? That stained glass Giannis is increíble. I think someone said, what, four or five hundred bucks or something like that for this? Stained glass Giannis? People love these. All right, nice. Next one. 700 plus is AK. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. The value of this stuff is is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, John Samuelson, what's up? You're so happy. Your, your sushi place opened back up for takeout. It had been closed for two months. Wow, they didn't, they didn't let restaurants do takeout up there? I think a lot of restaurants did do, did do takeout. Maybe I think it was a little more serious up in the Pacific Northwest, though. That, oh, that one didn't for some reason. I was always a little, I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me, but I was, I was baffled at some of the places that just said we're shutting it down. Like, like what, you can't, can't do online order or something like that? All right. Two more boxes go. Four box, random team, three. Good luck.
Do you think these boxes will go up like Prism Hobby? It already has. It already has. In fact, the next time, if we get another round of these mosaic hobby boxes for, for group breaks or personals, the price will be up. It's gone up on us. It'll, it'll go up on the website. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Did you hear what Jason said? Like eight $900 box by next week? We're sold out, yeah. Uh, ooh, I don't know how we're doing fast break and uh, and blaster boxes, Adam. And drops on Friday, probably. Yeah, maybe five box. Like, I don't know. Actually, probably both. I it depends on how many we were able to get. To be honest with you. But we are getting them, so. Sorry, Chris Paul. Apologies, Clippers. Chris Bay. These cards are pretty tough, though, so. I think, I think we're okay. 10 out of 25. Chris Paul for Chris Bay. Zion Williamson. Adam, you're voting for the pick your teams? We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll put that request in there. That goes to, once again, who to Matthew Shira. Yeah, I do like that those white mosaics too, John. I think those I think they're pretty sharp. Pretty, pretty, pretty sharp. Any guesses on this? I pass his eye on. An all card ship, but I guess he is a little more importante. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. These, I, I can't, when I'm breezing by, you can't do this quickly because I gotta like tilt my head. I guess I can just look at his face. There you go, blue chips Zion. These inserts count too. No, I think John Samson's guessing Jackson Hayes, right? For the redemption. Jeremy's guessing RJ. Although we saw an RJ Barrett autograph live, so so he might not be. Gordon Hayward in 99. <laughs> right, yeah. That's right, Molina. I would have snatched that Zion insert if it wasn't for you meddling kids. This goes for like a little bit of dollar dollar bills too, Brian. I wouldn't have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Oh, right, that was that was was that you, Adam? Did you have the heat in that one? You like how I <laughs> didn't even pay attention to the parallel until someone mentioned it? Four hundred bucks for that LeBron overdrive, nice. Yeah, and that one of one. Tyler Hero was hot for a little bit, and then and then and then really tailed off a lot. So we just need to get hot again, and that's that's gonna be a great that's gonna be a great card. All right, Kyrie Irving, nice mosaic autograph, Kyrie. Nice, John Samuelson. I see you're using the claw of leverage very well. I almost wrote Boston. It's Brooklyn. And that will be for Adam Kelly with the Kyrie. Yeah, I think Tyler Hero ceiling's high. I think Kendrick Nunn maybe took some of his shine too. But the, the Miami's built a really interesting team, you know. So it's kind of interesting because when every when Jimmy Butler went to Miami, everyone was like, "Lols, Jimmy Butler doesn't want to win," you know. He wants to, you know. He just, he's just chasing the money. That Houston or that Miami team's no good, blah 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 blah. But 
you look you look at it and and you look how tough that Miami team plays and how how poor the Sixers have been on the road, you know? So there there's some there's some issues there with that Sixers team. That Miami team low key pretty strong. Right, Bam out of bio looking good too. Zach Paul, what's going on? We we've seen some pretty nice stuff in here, ZP. I'll do a quick little recap at the end of this little four box break random team three. But Miami low key pretty good. And so I I think I think it kind of makes sense why Jimmy Butler went to Miami because I think there are some cracks in the wallpaper uh, in Philadelphia. I mean Philadelphia is a good team too, but but you know they just have to they just have to put it together, which they have and maybe maybe Butler sensed that or maybe I don't know some other issues too, but that's what it was. Ooh, and a nice gold Aaron Holiday, one out of ten. That's a nice one for the Pacers, Dan Gardner. Aaron Holiday, pretty popular. The Holiday family, pretty popular here in Los Angeles. Yeah, those golds are the gold is pretty pretty sharp, I think. Yeah, C and E saying Jimmy Butler, all he had, all he wanted to do was win. Well, the, and that's what I'm saying. I think when he signed with Miami, everyone was like. Lol's Jimmy Butler, why'd you ditch Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons and run to Miami where that team on paper doesn't look as good? But maybe maybe the the hand is on the other foot now. Maybe the shoe is on the other other hand now. Darius Baisley, OKC. Dan, Dan Gardner. Back to back. There's Giannis Antetokounmpo. Cameron Johnson blue to 99. Zion NBA debut. Steph Curry for the Warriors. Alan Horton Tucker, rookie silver. Another Zion. Those Lucas are nice. Karis Levert, Grant Williams. Center stage, Joel Embiid. Adam's thinking Jimmy Butler should have gone to Houston. Yeah, if they could have afforded him, exactly. I think that was the big issue. I think I think the Rockets are kind of up against the cap. I'm sure the Rockets would have loved to have Jimmy Butler, too. But I think Jimmy Butler deserved to to test that free agency, get paid, you know, and be on a good team, which I think I think he is. All right. Uh, so there you just watched the video. Someone said uh, it, but it was, it's 127 hours, right? That movie is nuts. Now we were talking, that's a different break. All right, Kevin, Adam, thanks everybody. Oh, a quick little recap here, Random Team 3. This was the last four boxes of that case we popped open. And then we're going to be going into three box Random Team breaks in a little bit. All right, there you go. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.